Hello everybody and welcome, this is Dalen from Tell Me About Gaming. Sit back, relax, and open up those ears because today we're going to be talking about my personal top 5 reasons that Undertale was such an amazing game. Let's get into it. So as always, a huge thank you to everyone and anyone who supports me on Patreon. It means the world to me and allows me to continue doing what I love. This month, a huge shout out to JP for his unbelievable support. With that being said, let's start talking about Undertale. So for those of you who have been on my channel before, you know that Undertale is my favorite indie game of all time and playing out one of my favorite games of all time. I absolutely loved it and was amazed by the game like many other people, and it was just quite a pleasant surprise. I still replay it to this day, and I cannot count the amount of times that I've played through the game. Something I always kind of wondered, however, is what made the game so amazing and interesting to me? What made it stand apart from everything else? And what plan out made it click in my mind? Well, I took the time to think it through and go through the game once again, and I think I got a pretty good understanding of what makes this game so great. So I thought, why not share those opinions with all of you? So with that being said, here are the top 5 things that make Undertale amazing. First up at number 5, we have its art style. Now hear me out here, quite frankly, at first glance the art style of the game is rather ugly and odd. However, notice the fact that I said at first glance. Once you become invested in the world and its story, the art also seems to start to catch on. What originally looked weird and ugly begins to look unique, interesting, nicely designed, and well to be fair it's still pretty weird but I think that's what makes it so enjoyable and what makes it so very much unique and makes it have its own identity. It is weird and different, it feels like something we have not seen before and it gives us something we can connect to. In fact, I heard a friend the other day refer to a drawing by saying it had an Undertale style to it, and I think that right there speaks for itself. There's something very special about Undertale's art, and while a lot of people may think it looks horrible at first glance, for some reason that I cannot explain, it just seems to latch on to you. At number 4 we have Undertale's world. The game has quite simply an odd, weird, and intriguing world. It has a universe and an environment that we really haven't seen before, which just makes it all the more entrancing. Seriously, as soon as I started playing the game, I just got sucked into the quite frankly nutball world that exists. The characters, locations, and history are just insanely interesting and unique. The best way to sum this up is with one word, unique. I think the whole reason people got so interested in Undertale and its universe was because they'd never seen anything quite like it before. It was new, it was well created, and it was well thought out. In at number 3 we have music. Now maybe some people won't agree with me for putting this so high up on the list, but for me personally, Undertale featured my favorite soundtrack from any video game of all time. I've never heard music in a game before that managed to convey so much emotion and meaning than the tracks present in Undertale. I mean, I could literally go on about the soundtrack all day long, but for the sake of not boring all of you viewers, I'll sum it up in a simple sentence. Undertale's soundtrack was one of the best pieces of art I have ever seen, heard, or experienced in a video game. There's not many other games I can think of that match it, and I simply love it. For number 2, we have the characters. Now, Undertale has some of the best characters and character development I've seen in gaming. The cast of diverse and odd characters somehow manage to be relatable even though some of them are skeletons and a fish. You really care about the characters in Undertale and the different endings can really hit you emotionally depending on the outcome. Again, I just can't stop praising the design, development, and concept of the characters. Toby Fox has created quite simply a work of art and the characters are a big part of that painting. Now for me personally, at number 1 I have the story. The story was the best part of this game in my mind. Months after the game's release, people were debating parts of the story and discovering new things and even to this day there are arguments about certain aspects of the story. Not only is there plenty to discover and learn in this world, there's also such a great meaning and message to the game. While you could play through it the typical way of just killing everything and moving on, you can also take the time, effort, and devotion to talk through situations to work things out peacefully to make friends and not enemies. Now sure, this may take more effort, but in the end, isn't it worth it? This game accomplished something amazing, and that amazing thing is the fact that it had so much of an increase in the search results for the word pacifist, which in itself is beautiful that people are interested enough to find out what this means and what it is. If that doesn't sum up the great meaning and message of this game on its own, 
I don't know what else will. So everyone, that's going to be it for today's video. I know it was a rather short one. It's actually just about five minutes, so about a minute for each thing, which actually works out kind of nice. But I didn't want this to be an insanely long video. I wanted to get something out there for all of you, and I wanted to get something that hopefully you guys could enjoy in a short amount of time. So hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite part of Undertale is and why you loved it so much. And if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I do it all the time and I have plenty of things like this. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see your beautiful minds in the next video. If you wish to support the channel and want to assist me in my continued creation of videos, there are several ways of doing so. First of all, you can head on over to teespring.com slash tellmeaboutgaming to check out the official merch for the channel and maybe consider picking something up to show your support. You can also head over to my Patreon at patreon.com slash tellmeaboutgaming for exclusive rewards and information and to offer continued support to the channel. Also, you can follow me on Twitter in order to stay up to date with the channel and everything that is going on. And finally, just simply liking the video subscribing to the channel, and leaving a comment helps me out. Thanks everyone.